Hi there and welcome to the Azure VM Image Builder service. This is an introduction to the service, discussing its capabilities, how it works and how you can get started. Azure allows you to create VMs from vanilla OS images from the Azure Marketplace or you can use your existing customised images that you've created. So why do people use customised images? There's a few reasons. First of all, performance. Customers want the ability to be able to bake in their applications and have the VM ready to take the workload as soon as the VM comes on. Second is compliance. Customers must have images that already have corporate security and compliance standards built into it, and these must always be distributed to downstream organizations and built on. Third is licensing. You may have eligible on-premise licenses that you wish to bring to Azure and the marketplace currently doesn't allow you the ability to bring those licenses to Azure unless you create your own custom image. So what does it involve creating custom images? Essentially you'll need to find some image building tools, you need to learn them and if you want to do this repeatedly you'll need to build out a pipeline. You also need to understand the operating system, there's differences between major miners. You'll also need to understand the hosting platform specifics such as if there's any requirements of that particular hosting platform. We understand that you don't just build images for Azure, you build them for lots of different cloud vendors. And lastly, you need the ongoing investment and maintaining of the system that you've built. So taking into account the efforts you have to make for building custom images, we wanted to make this simpler for our customers. So what is the Azure VM Image Builder? The Azure VM Image Builder allows you to describe a custom image as a template and you just submit this template to a service and then the service will produce the image for you. If you can write Windows PowerShell commands or Linux shell commands, then you can use Image Builder. It's as simple as that. It provides a unified approach to build customizations into custom images. You can also integrate it into existing DevOps pipelines and simplify them. And in addition, there's also an Azure VM Image Builder DevOps task. And using your existing scripts and customizations, you can continue to build your existing golden images to meet your corporate compliance requirements. And these images can be managed by the Azure Shared Image Gallery, which can version them and distribute them globally. This then allows your downstream departments to bake in their applications into these images and then bring on VMs online that are ready to take a workload immediately. These are some examples of scenarios that you can use Image Builder for. As mentioned, you can create your golden corporate images. This could be for Linux, it could be for Windows servers. You can also use it to customize Windows client, such as Windows Virtual Desktop. You can also build on your existing custom images, bake those applications into them. You can also pair Image Builder with the Azure Shared Image Gallery and have this image creation and management system. You also have the option to use Azure Image Builder to create images for Azure Stack and Azure Public. And as mentioned before, you can integrate Image Builder into existing Image Builder pipelines that you may have by either doing direct calls to the Image Builder service or using the Azure DevOps task. And lastly, you can create RHEL images, bring in your own eligible existing licenses. What is the Azure VM Image Builder made up of? It's made up of three distinct components, source, customizer and distribute. So source, we can ingest RHEL ISOs, so what you do is you go to the Red Hat Download Center and you put your ISO link. You can also build from Azure base images for Linux and Windows and you can build on existing custom images. For the customizer we support you bringing existing commands and scripts. We can also copy files into the image and we also support Windows restarts. And lastly we can distribute to VHD for Azure Stack we can distribute to managed images and the Azure Shared Image Gallery. You can then use Image Builder to take the custom images that it's created and modify them further. This could be taking the corporate custom image and baking in an application. It could be applying security updates or any other modifications to that image. So how do you build a custom image using Image Builder? First of all, you need to create an image configuration template. This describes what the customizations are, the source and the distribution. So you look at the properties, first of all you need to set the source. The source could be existing custom images such as managed images, images from the shared image gallery or Azure Marketplace images. Now you can set the customizations that you want Image Builder to perform. 
This is an array and Image Builder supports multiple customizations. So here you can see we've got a shell customization. This is running some inline commands. You could do the same with PowerShell. It can also run scripts. It can do Windows restarts and you can have multiples of these. Image Builder will run through these sequentially and if any one fails it will result in a failure of the image build. And lastly you set where you want the image builder to distribute the image to. This is an array as well and you can distribute to multiple distribution targets. For example, if I wanted to create custom images for Azure Stack and Azure Public, I could distribute to the Azure Shared Image Gallery in public and then distribute to a VHD that could be used by Azure Stack. Once you have completed the image builder configuration template, you just need to submit this to the service. When you submit it to the service, the service will download any dependencies that it needs, such as files or scripts, and it will create an image builder template resource. Now you can invoke run on the image template resource, and in the background, the image builder will stand up the resources it needs to create the image. The image builder will then distribute it to the distributions you selected in your properties, and any time during the image creation and distribution, you can check for status. So to summarize the benefits of Azure VM Image Builder, you can use the same template for Linux or Windows images. It's very simple, you don't need to learn any new tooling. It integrates into existing DevOps pipelines. You can use it to meet your corporate uh, compliance standards for your images. It integrates with Azure Shared Image Gallery for management capabilities such as distribution and replication, and it allows you to bake in your applications so when the VM boots, it's ready to take on a workload. Now you must be itching to get started. So what do you do? We have lots of examples of how to use Image Builder on Azure Docs. We have quick starts where you can literally just copy and paste the examples and start trying out Image Builder and have something within about 10 to 15 minutes. We have documentation examples on how to build end-to-end -end solutions with Image Builder, such as integrating Azure Image Builder with DevOps. And if you have any questions, please just contact us. Thank you very much for listening.